I, I might I sense. might pay to see saw, but yeah, so I'm already paying for it. So you I don't like seesaw. paying when I already yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like paying for okay, Kevin. Like paying. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Mod Squad Horror Show. I'm your host, Harley, as always, joined by the bodacious Brandon. <laughs> What's up? And we've got the fantastic Felix. What's up, G? Oh, no, he's doing and it we again. we have <laughs> the creepy-ass bearded geek <laughs> joining us. <laughs> Don't yes. look into the camera. <laughs> I know. Last week we had a, a story about <laughs> smile, smile too. and he was yeah. doing it the whole fucking time. I'm like, dude, stop, dude, stop. <laughs> okay, guys, let's start our show off with our sponsor. We have Skullectomy by Jolt Seven Studios. Scan that QR code. Let Lisa know that the Mod Squad sent you. All her skulls are unique and one of a kind. Nice. There you go. I like it a lot. Okay, guys, and go check out the horror pack. Felix, you want to tell them a little about that horror pack? Yeah, just enter your squad into the coupon bar there, and you get five dollars off your subscription. Brandon, did you order your uh, spooky box yet? I did. I ordered it. Haven't uh, haven't received it yet. I was hoping to get it before Halloween, so we'll see. As of today, I was texting with William, Ear the winner of um, the Mod Squad film roulette. If you want, if you like movies and want to watch something different every week, we have the Mod Squad film roulette. Uh, and the winner for the last season was William May. Congrats, dude! And he won a box of horror pack. So. Possibly the next winner will have, will win one as well, and so forth. So if you want to do that, just reach out to Brandon and I, and um, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, and also go check out Conversations with the Mod Squad. Hey, Kevin, who would you guys interview this week? Ooh, we interviewed Nina and Ethan from... Bloody Essentials. Yeah, Bloody Essentials. Uh, great little combo. We had some technical difficulties getting their video going, but we got them on, and uh, it was actually a really good interview. Yeah, it was. They were a cool, cool group of characters. They really are. Yep. Okay, let's go to our first trailer. Here we go. I've always written stories. <laughs> about things that are so terrible. You'll run away until your brain won't remember. So why did you come back? I'm here for research. What exactly though are you researching? I can see you lying back in your dress. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary in the lot recently? I like the song. I love this. I love this book. It was so scary. Honestly, I really like the uh, the original seventies, yeah, eighties one, early eighties one. I forget what came out, but seventies, yeah. There are some folks who had some kind of unusual experiences. The creepy part that always got me when she scratched in the window. In the other one, that always just. I had dreams of just someone there. About this place. How come every house that looks like no that is, um, it looks like Bates Motel? Yeah. I thought the same thing. I'm like, wait a minute. Andy, where are you? Answer me. Oh shit, that's almost just like, uh, this is not a disease you can catch. I wonder if it's going to be play by play or they're going to put their little spin to it. And that's the scene right there. Not gonna lie, this looks okay. It really does. They'll come for us eventually. Yeah. Comes out this week. I can't wait. Things have gone bad in the lot now. Gotta run. run, squirrel. Yeah, 
Yeah, they don't look creepy at all. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, Wednesday. October 3rd on Max. Yeah. Nice. Spooky season. Okay, it's time for... Okay. From Joe Blow, Monster Season 3, Stan Charlie Hoonam, Hoonman as Ed Hunnam. Gein. You he know was what? Awesome. So. And, son is and I'm just excited for this. I was just talking about, well, first of all, I think Dahmer was really good this past, next yeah. season. Um, Lyle and uh, the Menendez brothers. Mm -hmm. That was decent. It, it just it, it actually made me feel a little gross inside, and when you watch it, you'll know why. But like, yes. uh, like for a couple of days afterwards, Millie Vanilli was in my head. Girl, you know it's true. Girl, I'm gonna miss you. Um, what's their big one? I forget. But they were big fans of it, so they listened to it a lot, and it just when like, they blame it on the rain. Blame it on the rain. That's what I was thinking of. I and can then, sing uh, just like them. <laughs> Good. I saw that coming. Good, Millie Vanilli. <laughs> but um, the third season is going to be obviously the Ed Gain, and I think he's going to go back to the first Dahmer one, where it's like really creepy. Because, like I said, that Lyle and Eric one made me feel gross inside, but the first one was a little creepy. So, but that whole situation of them was a gross inside situation. Well, yeah. You have once you watch it, you'll understand. But just like the first episode of that was just holy shit. I don't so Ed Gain saying. then, Ed Gain, he um he inspired Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean not Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but he inspired Leatherface. Yes. All right, guys. So uh, we had some technical difficulties, but we're gonna go ahead and continue. Here we go. The unrelated version of Saw comes to theaters for the first time this Halloween. And the Texas Chainsaw Massacre returned to theaters in October. Watch the 50th anniversary trailer. What do you guys think about these anniversaries coming back to the theaters? I, I love cool. when they re-release them. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, I like. I'm a big Back to the Future guy, and I like when they bring that back to theaters on Back to the Future Day and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So this is really cool that they're doing that for Texas Chainsaw Massacre and, and yeah. the Saws. Yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Wednesday. We're gonna go see that for the 50th anniversary, and then uh, I was planning on doing Saw also uh, for for that re-release, but then I saw it's the uh, what should we call it the the Fathom event where you have to like pay fifteen dollars for yeah, everything's even more. I didn't know yeah. that because oh, wow. my yeah. kids wanted to go to it, but if it's Fathom, I'm like, nah. It's yeah, right. it's the Saw one's a Fathom event one. So, and I already pay for Regal Unlimited, so it, I, I might I might pay to see Saw, but yeah, so I'm already uh, paying for it. So I don't like seesaw. paying when I already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like paying. Okay, Kevin. I don't like paying for those those Fathom events when I already pay for. Regal Unlimited, so. I get what you mean. It's like double dipping, you feel like. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll go on to the next one here. Freddie Prince Jr. officially joins I Know What You Did Last Summer Legacy sequel. Very cool. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, these weren't, these were never the best of the, that no. era slasher movies. You know, the first one was okay. It was decent. I know it's. It was. This one was. These ones were written by Kevin Williamson, also, right? He, he yeah, wrote I the, so. the screen movies. Um, but yeah, definitely not uh, as good as as Scream. I feel like it was always trying to to yep. catch up to Scream, and it and it never it never quite got you, there. You know how yeah. there's like two like volcano, and then uh, there was another volcano, and there was Twisters, and there was another. You yeah, know how yeah, they're yeah, always yeah. like. Mm -hmm. I, I feel this was, and yeah. one of them's always really good, and one of them's always really bad. And I think this yeah. was the bad one to the screen being the really good one. Yeah. They did yeah. try to do something like that and didn't. I'm, I'm sorry. I cut you off, Kevin. Oh, no, no, no. I was I was listening. Yeah, it's just it's like it, I was going to compare it to uh, the way you did. Next article. Oh, I love this one. Samara Revian talks Azrael. We keep coming back to horror. 
what do you guys think about Samara Weaving doing more horror? I freaking love her. She's she's like a modern scream queen, you know? She's total badass. I love her. I can't wait to watch this one. Yeah. It's out this weekend and I looked and it's only got like one showing here and it's at like ten thirty at night and I'm like What's up with Ooh. that? I ain't trying to go to. So it's gonna be in theaters two weeks. It's yeah, probably yeah, yeah. one of those. But then, but yeah. no, but then I looked like later on in the week, and it's got like five showings in the afternoon on a Tuesday. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't make any sense because I want to watch this one. Same here. Like they're, it's like they're intentionally trying to hide it from people. All right, technical difficulties are fixed. Okay, let's go to the next trailer. That's totally. That not the right trailer? Now you all have to be very careful of the beasts what? out here. I'm not gonna tell you what that kind is. they are. Cause every single time I tell the locals, they will just laugh at me like I'm some sort of a clown. And I know I'm not crazy. Ow. Oh shit. There's a deep Right above the Achilles there, too. Mystic, non-human instinct only I can feel. I need to see bloodshed. I, I think right now we should start talking about making she looks like my, as one of my as possible. Yeah. Make sure your your quality of life is good as can be. This Rico's gonna have to get me a casket. Do you remember I locked you and your sister in the car? I need to get help from my brother. I understand he was seen twice by two of our workers. <laughs> Rico! What did you do to me? You're in deep shit right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that a werewolf movie or something? I think so. See, I like the trailers where you really don't know what's going on. It's really confusing. Yeah, I just thought, I thought he, the dude was crazy, and then the very, at the very end, he had the teeth coming out. Now I'm now I'm interested. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I think Edward Furlong is in there too. I, that didn't, that, I didn't that recognize was, him. Was that him? That was that was him towards the end there. Yeah, that was totally Edward Furlong. <laughs> That's it. John Connor. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. Okay, time for. Or rewind. This is all you, Brandon. Or Actually, Kevin. It's me, and I want to talk about Waxworks 2. Do it. I, I had to watch this on my channel, Back to the <laughs> Retro to Review. It. I had to watch this. Yes. <laughs> That's a good way of describing it. Oh, you had my to watch goodness. It. <laughs> okay. I will say this it is better than Waxworks 1, but Waxworks 2 is it's basically a, lot, a right journey yeah. back through time to try. It, it picks up right after the events of Waxworks 1. And it's a journey through time to prove the girl's innocence, to try to prove her innocence from killing her father, which she did not do. It was a hand with a hammer that killed her father. Um, spoiler it, alert. Oh, yes, yeah, spoiler <laughs> alert. God. Listen, this movie is, is, mm. is so bad. But it has such a good cast. It yeah. has um, was it Zach G Gilly? What Zach did the Galifianakis? Yeah. I don't know yeah. his name. The kid from um, Gremlins. Gremlins. I can't remember his name. Oh, that Zach Gallen. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, Zach Gallen or whatever his name is. It had uh, David Carradine in it. It had freaking oh, Drew Bruce Barrymore Campbell. in it. it. Yeah, Bruce yeah. Cam Bruce Campbell was probably the best part of the whole damn movie. Uh, yeah, Drew usually Barrymore, is. huh? Yeah, Drew Barrymore's in it for five seconds, and you don't even realize it's her. You're like, wait, that girl looked like Drew Barrymore. Yeah, and that's vampire really... victim number one. Was, yeah, was her credited role. Yeah, this movie is so goddamn bad. I do not <laughs> like this movie. So it's, it's horrible. So but if you want to check out our review, it is coming to back to the retro review. The um back. The first movie is already out. If you want to go back in our archives and watch our review on that, but it's fucking horrible too. So yeah, <laughs> wax works too. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, we're supposed to recommend movies that uh, 
we want people to see. <laughs> oh, I it's... I had to watch this, so I want y'all oh, to go you... watch it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want y'all to go watch it. Yeah. If you like a good movie that's horrible, so bad that it can be Some good, them, then this is a good one for are... you to go watch. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Have some drinks. Right. Okay, time for the horror movie trivia. Okay, in Rosemary's Baby, what type of plant is the necklace given to Rosemary to wear that she complains smells very strong? Sage. Wrong. Brandon, what's your question? Um, what is it? Uh, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. Is it like Wolfsbane or something? Wrong. Was it the sunflower? Wrong. What was it? I stumped you guys today. It's tennis root. Penis what? Tennis. 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 You know, like tennis oh, root. Oh, tennis. Yeah. Like uh, I watched that, that movie Wimbledon. probably once, like twenty years ago. I haven't, I haven't seen it since. Yeah, we've been getting them all recently here, but yeah, you stumped us on that. I one. looked up hard ones today. All right, go to okay. me again first. And the good son. How does Henry kill his younger brother? And Henry is Macaulay Culkin, guys. I remember. Okay, in the he good gets son. gets wrong, I get it. I'm going to win. Okay. Um, he killed him with a toy train set. No. He threw him wrong. off the plane. You know? He wrong. Fell. Is that another kid that... Someone fell off the plane set when you pushed him? That's not how he died, though. All right, go ahead. Brandon, do you know? Uh, God. Again, I, I watched, watched it then. Like, I, I haven't ago. watched it yeah. since then. Uh, I don't know what he do. Do you like smother him with a pillow or something? Wrong. Harley's two for two today. He drowned okay. him in the bathtub. That's right. Oh, That's mm. right. Cool. Damn kids. Fucking kids. Okay. Man. Fuck them okay, kids. Hey guys. Well, that does it for this episode yeah. of what? the mods. <laughs> That does it for this episode of the Mod Squad Horror Show. Guys, go check out the Facebook community. Also, go check out the networks, the shows in our network. You got Back to the Retro Review, hosted by the Bearded Geek himself. You got The Daily Dank. You got The Asylum with Harley. That's my show. And, as always, you're watching the horror show. Go check out the movie show, the gamer show, Conversations with the Mod Squad, and we go live every Saturday night with the giveaway. For Brandon, Felix, Kevin, myself, and the entire Mod Squad, see you in your nightmares. See ya. Deuces. See ya. The um, I'll, I'll let you guys get a word in. I'm sorry, we don't have the time. So Ed Gain, then Ed Gain, he um. <laughs> 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 <laughs>